is Ishide from White Wolf. Today we're going to discuss how to get to know the name of your guide. So that's uh, that's nice. <laughs> First in short, what's guides? Guides are deceased persons who are with you from birth to after death. And you mostly know them from your previous life and that's where you had several connections with them as family or friends, colleagues, different lives. And then this life, somehow, the person you knew then is now your guide. And uh, that's okay, because you know each other and trust each other. The guide is always good. If you feel scared sometimes because of your guide, it's probably not your guide, but a deceased person you knew, like your grandma or uh, an entity that's not supposed to be there. And of course, Grandmas shouldn't make you feel scared, but they're just people with their own feelings and habits and they can make you accidentally feel scared and guides know how you are and will make sure you're not. And if they are making you feel scared, it's probably for a reason, a warning or something, a bad decision you maybe are going to make. Okay, but the name of the guide, <laughs> that was the point of this video. It's actually quite simple. You can just ask in yourself or out loud, hey guide, please let me know your name. And of course I can give you tips like you have to be not in a crowded place and it has to be silent and you have to do some visualizations first. Yes, I can say that, but you don't have to do that. You absolutely do not have to do that because your guide is always there and he knows how to communicate with you. If you know you're distracted in a crowd, then yes, don't ask this in a crowd. But if you think like now is a good moment to ask, fine. Because some people actually can focus more if they are in a crowd than if they're alone. So, so that's open. So what can happen then? Um, usually the first name you think of then, or maybe easily just hear in your ear or in your head that's the name but of course then what follows is doubt did i hear that correctly maybe you already know a person who has that name like um a nephew yes then then it's more difficult you know to to know if that was really his or her name or just your own thought but if you heard a name and you don't know that name yet in your surroundings, then you can be pretty sure that that's the good name. But if you heard a name that's a name, a name you already knew, then you can try again later. Maybe you hear a different name, maybe you hear it just again. Maybe the name is simply a common name like, uh, like Liam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's possible and you already know that name. So that's just how we do that. Just find out first what works for your concentration and what works for you alone. Don't listen too much to others and how they concentrate and what tips they give you. Just follow your intuition, then ask the name and then let me know in the comments because I would like to read that, of course. So I wish you uh, good luck. Let me know if you want to, of course, and until next time.